All right, I'm on hole number eight of the Liberty Tournament. I'm in Wednesday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. Let's go check it out. Golf Clash Notebook, City Park, hole number eight. So my normal MO here is to hit from the top of this hill. And you use about three backspin. You don't really need to put any side spin on it. And what you're doing is you're waggling. You can get in the right spot. So with three backspin up in this area, you can get your second bounce to be right here and you can go straight out the cup. If you get it wrong, and I think if you're at the top of the hill, you probably should be doing max club with plus 10%. In the past, that's what I've always done here. And we're getting wind that's kind of blowing this way. So we're getting a little bit of headwind. But for whatever reason, this mound, the mound is not flat. The mound is like this. And so you're kind of hitting over here, and if you hit it perfect, it goes right where you want it. But if you hit it up on the top, or if you hit it over to the left, it goes way to the left. If you hit it to the right, it goes way to the right. And so whenever you're hitting on a side hill like this, on a mound like this, and you're aiming to a spot, you need to hit that spot. And my perfect game right now blows. So what's happened here is if you hit it great to the right, you're fine. <laughs> but if you hit it great to the left, you'll end up in the sand or you'll clip that rough right there and you could get caught up. In most cases, if you clip the rough, you will bleed forward onto the fringe, but it's very easy to end up in the sand. And I've ended up in that sand three times this week. And normally when I have a hole that I'm having a problem with, I, I quit doing that shot and I pick another one. There's multiple ways to go at these holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a Grim Reaper and I'm going to bring a Marlin, because I'm working this shot out, so I'm not going to waste any good balls until I can figure it out. So I'm working a Grim Reaper and a Marlin. I'm starting off over here, and I'm going to put on max backspin, maximum left-hand side spin, and get my tail so that it's right above the hole, and I'm going to do a 30% wind adjustment. So I started off, I was doing a 10, I've done a 20, and so here's the cup, here's the flagpole. I was going right at it. I did a 10, and I ended up down here. I did a 20 and I ended up right here. So I was a little low of the hole. So I'm going to keep doing, keep adding on more wind to try and get my, get it so that I'm on this trajectory. Once I can get on this trajectory where I'm coming towards the cup, then I can start making adjustments to try and drop it. And I know that you have a great shot up here because this is the shot that I normally take. And I feel like this is probably the best way to go at this hole as far as consistency wise. But if you're having any problems, you can continue to have problems or you can pick a different shot. And so I'm picking a different shot because the goal on that hole is not hole in one. Hole in one is what we'd like to get. The goal is birdie. And there are tons of opportunities in this, in the city park holes to drop shots. And I don't want that to be on a par three. So I'm going to take a Graham Reaper. I have a Graham Reaper in a bag. I do. Here we go. Max backspin, maximum left hand side spin, plus 30% wind, 1.3. And I'm going to keep, I was in one on one. And whenever I was on this hole trying to hit over to that side right there, we got a lot of headwind in the practice session. I was actually doing, I, I made a bunch of adjustments on this hole because I kept getting this hole over and over again in shootouts. And I kept ending up in the sand. And then I ended up in the rough and I kept adding on more and I finally got to a point where I added on I was doing a max club even though I wasn't in max because I was getting on this hole a lot with a Titan and so I was more towards mid club and I started doing max numbers and I worked myself all the way up to where I was doing a 50% wind adjustment and I and I sank it now I'm not saying that was skill I'm just saying I was up in the numbers and finally got to the point where I was at least on the right trajectory But this is definitely a hole you want to hit it perfect. And I'm not a fan of hitting from that side over there because it takes that flat little bounce right there. And I'm not a fan of that because once again, you're hitting on a, on a hill face. So if you hit it low, it takes it even flatter. If you hit it high, it takes it higher. 1.3 times 4.3. I'm taking a Marlin divided by 1.8 per ring. So it's 3.1 rings. So max, let's get max. And however much I can get on. I want to be right above the cup. So 
them right above it. Kind of on that trajectory. So it's 4.3. I'm going to do 3.1 rings. There's one, two, three, one. Hit it perfect. That's still just a little teeny bit on the low side from where it was. Now, I could be just like where I set it up right there. Because when it hit, it kind of fell down. So I'll have to go back and watch that video and I'm either going to do a 35% or I'm going to change where I set it up and I'll find a spot to set it up down there. But I'm going to keep working that. That's the shot that I'm going to take all week because I feel like that shot, in the worst case scenario with that shot, I'm going to end up with a birdie. Obviously, in my best case scenario, I'd end up with a hole in one. But right now, making sure that I get a birdie 100% of the time at a minimum is the goal. It's a draw. Okay, I still got a chance for Albie on hole number nine. And I'm trying a rough up on hole number nine. So I'm trying a totally different shot. And it's been, I've been getting varying results on the drive. Not it, I've been in the right spot, but I've been getting varying results on the drive. Because once again, we're in City Park and there's lots of spots where the ball will slide across the green and you'll pick up speed. <clears throat> All right, that was hole number eight of the Liberty Tournament in Wednesday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.